Make sure you read and reread and understand what's going on. This is an example of simple interest. So let's find simple interest, and I've written down the formula, interest equal principal times rate times time. What are the values given? The principal is $400, so I'll write down 400. What was the rate? It's 13 and 5 tenths percent, so we'll multiply by 13 and 5 tenths percent, and then be very careful with the time. It's six months. Time here is in years, so what part of a whole year is six months? It's one half of a year, so you can write down one half or as a decimal, 0.5. Once again, that's because we're interested in one half of a year or six months. So my time is 0.5 or one half. Then to find the interest, we multiply. Let me go ahead and take a step and I'll write this as an equivalent decimal. There it is, and then times. 0 decimal point 0.5. If you multiply, you'll have an answer here of 27. Now what does 27 mean in the context of this problem? 27 is the amount of interest the couple needs to pay. So what is the total amount due the bank at the end of the six-month period? The total amount will equal the amount they borrowed. They borrowed $400. And then the interest they'll be paying is $27, so the total amount due is $427.